Hello everyone, we're here at the Riata Inn in Presidio, Texas, and we're going to do a hotel room tour of room 112. So here's the room right here, facing east. And it has RFID, but right now the key isn't working. So as we walk into the room, it's a bit dark, but there's a light over here on the right. And there's the recess light right over the table near the mini fridge. Here's a look at the table. It's very basic with two chairs. And then to the right is the AC outlet. It's just plugged into your standard NEMA 620 outlet. So you could charge your EV from it. It's a primary brand unit. It works okay. And then right here we have the window. And the window does open. So you can see the window does open here. So you can run a cord out if you need or just for some fresh air. But unfortunately the window doesn't block too many sounds from outside. So coming over here we have the mini fridge and microwave. You can see there's a look inside the mini fridge. It's a larger model with a built-in light. It also has a freezer compartment. And then on top you have a smaller Magic Chef microwave. You can see here on the back of the microwave is the output label. It's only 700 watts, so not that powerful. And then coming over here is the main part of the room. There's a look at the beds. And you can see this hotel is very basic because it caters to work travelers. This hotel is quite busy during the work week, but it's pretty empty here on the weekends. Coming over to the bed here, you can see the mattress is very thin. They're just using a very basic coil mattress. And then over here is the nightstand. You have an older hotel phone and a lamp. Unfortunately, the lamp's miswired, so the left switch controls the right light and vice versa. There's a look at the light bulbs. The left one's a CFL, the right one's a halogen. The lamp also has two grounded power outlets on it, and then down below is the hotel phone. It's a basic phone, but it doesn't work. I believe this is the first hotel room I've stayed at where the phone doesn't work at all. Anyways, there's a nightstand, and you can see the hotel's using the exact same furniture as the Aquarius Inn in Bicknell, Utah. Another thing to note, this room doesn't have any sort of alarm clock or any clock at all. And inside the nightstand drawer, you have a phone book. And then over here's the entertainment console and dresser. For some reason, the left drawer doesn't have a handle and doesn't open. But here's a look into the right drawer. It's pretty deep and spacious. And there's a look at the TV. It's an RCA 39 inch HD TV with at least 720p resolution. They get direct TV HD service here. The entertainment console is pretty low to the ground compared to the desk over there. And here's a closer look at the desk. Again, they're using the same furniture style throughout the room and you get one basic chair, not an office chair, and it does not have that much padding. And then you get a large but thin pull out drawer. And then you also get a mirror. Turning around this other direction, we have the bathroom and the open closet. Here's the open closet structure, and you'll see that the pipe's bent, but it's just cosmetic. It works just fine. You also get six regular coat hangers, not the theft deterrent kind. You also get a shelf on top to store things, and the luggage rack's located down beneath. You also have a very worn out ironing board with a lot of burn marks on it. And then near the vanity and sink, you have a GFCI outlet in the corner. And then here's the vanity and sink. It's the newest fixture in the room, and here's a quick test of the faucet. Works pretty well. And you also get a box of tissues, a soap dish, and a bunch of packets of tiny soap bars. Unfortunately, this room has single-use disposable packets of shampoo, which is something I haven't seen before. And then on the left side of the vanity, you get some shelves with some cups, an ice bucket, and a drawer with a hairdryer in it. And then above the large mirror, you have five lights. The right two bulbs are compact fluorescent, the middle's LED, and the left two are halogen. And then over here is the door to the bathroom area, which contains the shower tub and toilet. On the right, there's a light switch that controls the exhaust fan, which has a supplemental light on it. And then over here is the toilet, and the very interesting thing about it is that it doesn't have a toilet seat lid. This is the first hotel I've ever been to that doesn't have a toilet seat lid. You can see there's a towel bar just above the toilet, and actually one of the towels fell in yesterday. You can see there's an image right there. So yeah, luckily it was one of the towels and not my clothes that fell into the toilet. And then you can see there's a very interesting design for the toilet paper holder. Looks like custom design in a western theme. And you can see there the spur actually spins. So yeah, it's cast iron. Coming over here to the shower and tub, there's a bunch of towels on the floor because the water spills out. Here's a closer look at the shower fixtures. They're pretty old, they're original to the hotel. There's a look at the shower head, a very interesting design, but it is very basic. You can't really adjust the nozzle settings on the shower head and it barely moves. Now here's a quick test of the shower. You can see it works okay, but the whole area is pretty dated. So overall, this hotel is just okay. I would only stay here again if I was traveling alone and on a budget. This hotel gets very busy on the weekdays, so just be aware of that. So that'll be it for this full hotel room tour at the Riata Inn in Presidio, Texas. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to get subscribed and check out other videos on my channel. This is the last of the 2021 hotel review videos. The 2022 hotel reviews will be coming next.